Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading July 15th to July 21st, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are going to go straight away to the spread. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for you, Libra's, uh, Libra Week, that is going to be the Four of uh, Swords. Followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, the third card which stands for the positive aspect of the week, this is going to be the Page of Cups. And then the last one which represents uh, the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, that will be the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, very interesting here. Um, it seems that the week is going to be very calm and peaceful, you know, but you will have a great deal of uh, of things to figure out, all right? And at uh, 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 that week, you will have to come up with, so with a certain solution or at least position, which cannot be reversed afterwards. So you will have to make up your mind of something. But let's run down the cards once again before we scrutinize the reading. The first one is going to be the Four of Swords, uh, which is the topic. Afterwards, we do have the, ten, the Eight of Pentacles, which is the um, challenge, followed by the uh, Page of Cups, which represents the uh, positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, which stands for the Guidance. All right. Uh, so the Four of Swords, the topic. Now, Four of Swords is generally a card of peace, okay? But Four of Swords, it is when you take your time to actually figure something out using most likely a, a faithful companion, uh, trying to find a, a state either of mind or a, a place where you are going to find yourself in peace, so you can make the most beneficial decision for yourself. Um, also could be associated, for example, uh, if you are baffled what you are feeling, let's say, for your partner or for your job as well, and you don't know how to react because you do have a mixed feelings, all right? So that card points that this week you're going to take your time to um, comprehend on your emotions to find out what you really feel and what you really want, should they say that way. And uh, if that's the case, you may seek also professional help. That is not going to be something that works against you. You know, for example, couples, therapist, shrink, medical doctor, depends what your problem is. All right. But the point here with the topic is that this week is going to, you're going to be left completely uh, alone, like not alone in the literal sense, but more in a figurative sense, where you have time to really think profoundly upon your issue and uh, systemizing your strategy, how you want your life to move on from there in regards to that situation. The accompanied card is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> 
and the formation it is a active enemies that we do have so pretty much this card here points to a couple of things the one is that you do have all the cards on the table there is nothing hidden anymore uh, there is nothing that you can hope for as well if you are hoping for a miracle to happen this ain't gonna happen uh, at least according to these cards and you do have uh, pretty much all the means that you can work with. Additionally to that, the Seven of Pentacles, however, to the Four of Swords, points that should you be elegant with the situation, should you allow yourself to um, consider all options, then if the situation you are in is, is ruining itself right now, there is definitely a way how you can save it here with these couple of cards. So uh, the next card that we do have, um, the, or the next position here, that will be in regards to the challenges that you need to face, and that will be the Eight of Pentacles. So no ideal card that I want to see in this, um, in this particular position. And as a follow-up as well, it does look like that you will have a hard time understanding where the problem is coming from, for many reasons you know maybe how can i describe it maybe you're used to different lifestyle right or maybe you are used to different code of conduct in regards to how you do your job for example your boss may be displeased of your performance and you just because you're giving everything you got you're just you you just don't understand why they're displeased all right but in the same time you may not fulfill any uh, some sort of a criteria in there which is not necessarily linked to your skill but more to the um to the presence that you are exerting into your company into your company yeah uh, maybe you are handsome outside, but you do have a difficult time, you know, to kind of grasp upon a sweater. And that is for a reason being is that you are, you know, attacking the situation from a different way. It's just, it's going to be a challenging for you to recognize what exactly is obstructing you to have the things your way. All right. And uh, additionally to that, on a more practical level the the eight of pentacles here as a challenging card points that this week is not a, a good week where you initiate something big all right or where you give as well big promises let's say or where you uh, jump into very very important projects probably because like i said you need a little bit more time to think about your strategy in regards to them the accompanied card here is going to be the five of um, <clears throat> the five of wands formation. It is a passive neutrals, and uh, simply with this uh, combo, uh, there are a lot of things that are yet to happen. All right, I mean it's um, which are not going to be miracles. All right, they are not going to serve neither in your favor or in the favor of your villain, let's say, or or your competitors. They are just an unfold unfoldment of the situation that no one else sees. All right. Uh, or it's anybody's guess, should I say it that way as well. And uh, for that reason, guys, you have to be rather a bit agile, let's say, open for compromise and as well not fall into despair also, because with this five here, the five of wands is a challenging position. You may find it hard to believe that uh, this situation, that, which may go into ruin in your life, all right, if there is such. Uh, can be traversed into a, a beneficial one or can be repaired, let's say your marriage, let's say your career as well, but it can with these couple of cards. It just is going to be challenging for a couple of reasons once again, because you're not seeing a way how and because you're not seeing why it is deteriorating. So that's why you need to take this week to think about what you're doing, how you're doing it, and is it right what you're doing. And then we have the positive aspect of the week, which is the page of cups. And I don't believe that this is a person here. It just, it doesn't fit with the reading if that's a person, all right? Uh, but I do think that this is your state, or, or rather like it's, uh, the, the page here is read as a, uh, as a uh, event or more likely as a energy, all right? So what the page here points is that there is a, a big change coming in. And, uh, 
That's why this week is so important that you give yourself a rest and you don't give any final decision or final conclusion, you know, uh, kind of like a uh, ultimatums also, because the situation is shifting. I mean, the whole world around you, it is shifting and you need to adopt the most beneficial standpoints in regards to your world and to your situations so you don't... Um, <clears throat> You don't regret it after and therefore as the page comes into a, a positive position that means that you are going to pretty much be forewarned where the, from where the uh, the wind is blowing and you will have a heads up time you know to oversee the overview let's say that way and have and you have the time to adopt those positions most beneficial for you to um, take on this change which is looming on the horizon it is not here yet but it is coming and once it comes you want to be prepared for it the accompanied card is going to be the uh, queen of pentacles the formation it is a uh, passive uh, passive friends and it seems that uh, you are going to resolve a lot of um, unsettled disputes let's say that way or unsettled as well how can I say it? Um, unsettled matters uh, throughout uh, throughout this week, not necessarily through activities, all right, but like I said, through deliberations and as well through a, um, I would say, mutual conversation or mutual understanding. It is what is going to be um, achieved uh, achieved there, and also additionally to that. Uh, with these couple of cards, as, uh, as long as you uh, deliberate upon your positions right now and how you should play your cards moving into the future, either with your career or with your marriage, it is very likely with these couple of cards that you are to come up with, with ideas, let's say, that up until this moment you haven't thought about, but they are to prove very, very effective. So uh, my summarize here upon the reading, it is that the great things are coming up. It's just you're not prepared to take the maximum advantage out of them. And that's why throughout this week, you will have to stop for a second, think about what you're doing, think about what you want and is what you are doing. It's, it's contributing in any way for what you want. Okay. And the last card, which uh, is the guidance here, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. And so as a guidance, this card points that this is it. I mean, this is the week, guys. Whatever you come up as a, your ideas and strategies this week and whatever decision you make for yourself, pretty much that is going to define your future moving on forward. Uh, that will be your burden, your karmic burden, let's say. That will be your opportunity. That will be your relationship. That will be your business. But the, the ace here points that nothing is obstructing you. Well, not nothing, but you are not deprived from achieving success into your business and a, a harmonious flow into your relationship as well. As long as you find those things which content you to, to, to be successful into your career and to be uh, in a, a harmony into your relationship. For that reason, uh, the, the Ace of Pentacles here points, uh, points that you have to seriously think about what you want for yourself and how you want to live your life in general and whom you want to live your life with as well. Okay. Uh, and that will make you probably reconsider your positions. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, the star card, the formation, it is a passive, uh, passive enemies here. So um, this isn't a matter of hope. It is what those cards are pointing. This isn't a matter of a, a fateful circumstances or anything like that. Uh, it all resides how much you're going to invest in it, all right? How much you're going to have a compromise about it and in generally uh, how much you're going to work for it because nothing is going to be given to you like a, um, in regards to that situation, I mean, um, it's not going to be given to you on a platter. You have to work for it. You have to fight for it. You, you basically have to negotiate for it 
it's not going to fix itself on its own accord. This is what the star card is pointing. So, for example, if you are having difficulties in your career, they're not just going to go away on their own accord. You have to recognize them. You have to deliberate about them. You know, you have to create your strategies about them. And then you have to attend to them as well. And that will grant you your success. You have a problem since your marriage. These problems are not going to simply go away on their own accord. You have to talk about them. You have to think about them. You have to negotiate about them, you know. And ultimately, you are going to reach a, a conclusion about them as well and decision, which will allow you to readopt your positions. And that will make your marriage more harmonious, let's say that. All right. So that was uh, your... Um, weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.